we're going to be setting up a domain or a business email account on an Apple device. An iPhone or an iPad, it all works the same. So find your settings tab, your settings icon. And right, then go down to mail, contacts, and calendar. And you want to add an account scroll all the way down to other and then at the top one add a mail account alright and then you're gonna put your name however you want it to show to people and your email address oops let's use my test email address your password. Now just be careful that you type everything in carefully. Alright, the next. Now you have the choice between IMAP and POP. IMAP is the one that you usually want because that is what syncs all of your emails to the server which then syncs it to any other devices that you're viewing your email account on. So I have my email account being fed through my desktop, my iPad, and my iPhone. And that way, if um, I do an action on one device, it will carry over to the other device. So if I delete an email, it will show up deleted on all the other devices. If I reply to an email, I will see that reply email um, on all the other devices. So it's important that, um, that you choose IMAP to keep things synchronized and easy to organize. So what you need to do next is go down to your host name and you'll receive this from your hosting provider. And your username is your full email address. And I would type in your password um, again just in case I got this wrong. See, this is the thing. If you don't get these details correct, um, you'll, you'll run into errors. And that sometimes you don't know where the error happened because they don't tell you. So the outgoing host name is usually the same. So I'm just going to paste it there. I'm going to paste my username, or you can type, retype it, but just for time's sake, I am going to copy and paste. All right, it all looks correct, so I'm going to hit next. It's verifying. Now, with iPhone and iPads, uh, there's with Apple devices, there's one more step that's really important in order for everything to kind of synchronize into the correct folder. So I'll show you that next step in a minute. With other devices, it doesn't seem necessary. Now don't be alarmed if this takes a while. I had to pause the video because it was taking some time. But click Save. If you get reached to that screen, that's great. Now, you can start using your emails. However, uh, it might things might get placed in wrong folders and so here's the way to, to just solve that problem right away. Go to the email account you just set up, go to account, all right scroll all the way to the bottom and hit advanced. All right now scroll all the way to bo bottom to IMAP path preference. This is really important all caps you want to type well that wasn't all caps inbox okay that way everything is gonna fall into the trash into the draft into the deleted whatever are the common folders they're gonna fall in the right place sometimes you'll get messages I'm gonna just check that real quick Okay, sometimes you will get messages that say deleted is not falling in the right folder, I couldn't delete your message, and that is why, because you need to put that in there. 
All right, so let's go to, let's go test it. Let's go see um, the email and make sure that I, yeah, so there we go. There's the test email that I sent earlier. I'm going to delete it. Boom. There's no message that comes up um, that says it's going to the wrong folder. So we're all set to go and that is how you set it up uh, your domain or business email on your iPad or iPhone.